master web development with Skill Bakery. Hey everyone! Ready to level up your web dev skills? Introducing SkillBakery.com premium courses starting at just $6 or 500 rupees. Sign up today and learn in-demand skill sets. Unlock your potential today at SkillBakery.com. And as you can see over here, once the build is finished, you can scroll down over here and uh, here you can see that the application has been generated and this is the APK that has been generated. And you also get this install option. If you click on this one, it will provide you the steps using which you can install this APK on your device. You can either open up your camera app and scan this QR code or you have this instruction where it says what changes you need to make prior to scanning this QR code. You also have this open, you also have this link to the APK which you can share. Now, if you see in your visual code when you executed this command where you have specified the build profile development platform Android. So when you executed this, it kind of generated that IPK and once the build is finished, you can see this QR code came up. The same link is coming up over here and here it is asking you whether you want to install and run the Android build on an emulator. So you can press yes and it will try installing Android emulator and then launch the APK in that or you have this link using which you can install the APK on your mobile device. Now we'll also go ahead and see how we can just go ahead and create one for our production environment. So as I mentioned earlier, if you do not specify any profile, the default that's considered is for production and that's what happens when you omit the profile option from the build command. So if I press enter now over here, you can see that it has taken the production as the option, as the default option and it has started the build process and you can view the same over here under expo app builds and there you go. Here you can see the profile and there it says production here we have development so let's see the status of it as of now it's queued and because we are making use of free tier so it takes a bit of time compared to paid version and here the build in, and here the build is in progress let's wait for some time and see what happens so as you can see over here this one failed and if you see the reason behind this it's a timeout exception that has happened. So it happens a few times when you're using Expo for building production releases. And what we have done is we have executed another command. And here you can see this is still in queued status. And we'll wait some more time to see how it goes. And there we go. This time, as you can see, the build is finished. But you'll notice that there's a difference. If I take you to this URL where the production build is finished, you don't see any install button coming up. And then we have this download link. Down below, if you expand this, you'll see the app release.aab file. So you're not getting any APK files. Now with Play Store, you can simply go ahead and upload this AAB file and it will upload it on the Play Store. But if you want to install a production build, you have to go through a certain number of steps and then only you'll be able to run the production version on your mobile device. In the next lecture, we'll be exploring how we can do that without publishing this AAB file on the Google Play Store. And we'll be simply downloading this on our machine and then we'll be extracting out the APK from it. That and all will be covered in the upcoming lecture.